World Bank to aid rural development projects in Rajasthan. The World Bank and the Indian government signed an agreement for commencing an integrated rural livelihoods project in Rajasthan. The formal memorandum of understanding was signed in the national capital New Delhi on Tuesday. The project aims at providing means of livelihood to the backward areas of the state and an outlay to the tune of 162.7 million dollars has been earmarked for it. Roberto Jagha, the country director of World Bank for India said that this project was an experiment that had proved successful in a couple of states and this is being extended to Rajasthan. And this is one of the programs which we are therefore very pleased to, to be able to finance. Uh, it is a mature program in that uh, Rajasthan uh, was the first state to introduce a livelihood project in 2000, uh, as you refer to it. And this, this type of project has gradually evolved from Rajasthan to AP, then Tamil Nadu, then Bihar, then a variety of uh, states both in the south and northeast. Uh, and they have proven the effectiveness so much so that the, now the government adopted the National World Livelihood Mission which, to take this program to scale nationwide. Venu Rajmani, an officer of Indian Foreign Service, currently designated as Joint Secretary in the Department of Economic Affairs of the Indian government, stated that this project aims at increasing the income levels for some 4 lakh rural poor households in the state. While we call it a livelihood program, in reality it is an empowerment program. You're identifying the poorest of people, especially women, people from the uh, lowest uh, the communities which have suffered historic discrimination. And then you're teaching them the strength of unity. You're bringing technical skills to them. You're giving organizational skills to, the, to them. You're enabling them identify uh, or obtain livelihoods, improve their livelihoods. The project is aimed at building the capacity of community institutions to deal more effectively with formal financial intermediaries, market institutions and foster new partnerships with the cooperatives and the private sector. The credit is provided by the World Bank's Fund for the Poorest under the International Development Association and it has 35 years to maturity and a grace period of 10 years to counter unexpected odds in the execution of the program. Priyanka Vidbanjot for ANI.